Alright, so before this video starts, I want to thank ProGuides who helped make this video possible. ProGuides is seriously the easiest way to master Fortnite effectively. They work with the biggest pros and they have detailed courses for any concept you're struggling with. If you have any questions after watching a video, they have a team of pro players to answer any questions you have. And these aren't just some random pro players, these are real pro players signed to an organization. Overall, Pro Guides is a great way to hit your goals and I think it's an awesome way to save time, learn quickly and it pays for itself. Please check it out in the description below, it will really help me out. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the video. We're starting off easy with a quick preview of the 90s you're about to learn. So now you guys might be asking, didn't you make a video on this a couple of months ago? And yes, I did, but thanks to ProGuides.com, I am able to make a more complex video on the topic. So today, we're going to be digging in deep and taking a look at how to do the 90s, common mistakes, and how to prevent it, and why these 90s are as effective as they are. So first things first, how to do the 90s. Here's a slowdown preview of the 90s you're about to learn. As you can see, I do a right to left to right to left shake motion when doing these 90s. The length of these strafes can vary from very short to very long. That's all depending on how you want to personalize your 90s. Alright, so when starting these 90s, it is highly recommended to have some general understanding of how 90s work in Fortnite. If you guys do not know how to do 90s in Fortnite, I would highly recommend you the channel Team EX. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, so positioning is key in every 90, and you guys do know that, because you do not want to end up under your ramp. So, when doing these 90s, I would highly recommend you to start off slow. Try going like this, and once you're comfortable, you can start off going a little faster. Of course, this is not something you're going to build into your muscle memory in an hour, unless you're some kind of a super child. So my main tip is to start off slow, do a little shake-like motion, and try to get confident in doing these sorts of 90s. With that said, let's go ahead and go over some common mistakes. The most common mistake when doing these 90s is ending up under your ramp, just like shown in the video. But you guys probably already know the solution to this. And yes, that is positioning. The best way to position yourself is shown in the video right now. If you position yourself here instead of here, that can cause you to end up under your ramp. That's not what you want, so please stay to the left when doing these 90s. Another common mistake people do when trying these 90s is not getting around to placing your last wall. And honestly, the only solution to this is practice. Practicing these 90s a lot will definitely help you out on the way. The last couple of months, these have been my go-to 90s. When I first started doing them, they were extremely difficult, but I quickly understood the benefits of doing them. They give you momentum, which basically allows you to do them way faster because you always keep centralized when doing these 90s. It also quickly gives you cover from both sides because of the shake-like motion. Well, that is pretty much it, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A like and a subscription is highly appreciated. Also, if you could use my code MARIN in the item shop, that would be amazing. I'll do a giveaway at 500 supporters. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.